Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to stream your Xbox One or Series S or X to your PC so you can play games very easily. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So it's very easy to go ahead and stream your Xbox to your PC. Now you can connect your Xbox One controller to your PC or your Xbox to do this. Now let's go over to my desktop. So this is the Xbox app on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. You can easily get this if you go to the search icon down here and then just type in Xbox, it should show up. And you don't want the Xbox console companion application. This one won't work with the series S or X. You want this one with the Xbox symbol next to it. Just go ahead and select that and open it up. And then this is what it looks like. Now, under Game Pass, My Library, Cloud Gaming, Communities, etc., you should be able to see this little symbol right here. This is Consoles. If we select Consoles, I can go ahead and see my Xbox One if I'm connected to the same network. Now, go ahead and turn on your Xbox One right now or Series X and make sure it's connected to the internet. And once you do that, it should show up under this list. Now, if you have the option to connect to a 5G wireless connection or directly connecting with a cable from your Xbox all the way over to your router, go ahead and do that. This will allow you to have the best possible playing experience with the minimum amount of input lag. So to get this started up now, just go to the little streaming icon and press Xbox One right here or your Xbox. And you may have to go to your Xbox now and just press X on the screen just to verify that you want to connect over the internet. And then it should just pop up really quickly like this. So I'm streaming my Xbox One to my PC right now. And there's very low input lag, which is very surprising. If we use our mouse and go up to the upper left, we can toggle some options here. We go to the settings and show stream menu. We can mute our microphone, we can go to toggle full screen, feedback, etc. Or we can disconnect. Then I can go to the Xbox guide button right here and select this with my mouse. And then we can just move that to the side. Now one thing I did notice is with this newer remote play, they don't allow you to change the resolution like they used to. So you're kind of locked between 720p and 1080p right now. But there is plans to increase this and increase the frames per second in the future. So if you do have like a Series S or X, expect that at some point in time. If you're not connected to the 5G network, you'd probably want to go ahead and do that. Just go to settings right now and go to general and go to your network settings and make sure you're connected to 5G. So if you set up a wireless connection or if you have a LAN connection, which is the best, go ahead and just do that. Now, many times when you go to your wireless connections, it will say like 5G at the end of the name, unless you change the name around for most of your connections like me. I have Mr. Beast and PewDiePie. So just my experience playing Halo Infinite right now, it seems like it's pretty responsive. The resolution, it seems like is around 720p, but the frame rates are pretty good. They look like they're 60 frames per second if I just had a guess because everything seems like there's a smooth motion. And when I'm moving around quick, I notice a small amount of input lag, but it's not to the point where I think I would be deterred from playing. If you're playing like a single player game, you'd be completely fine and maybe a more competitive game. You might have a little bit of a disadvantage against someone who is playing on a TV and isn't streaming. But it really comes down to your connection. If you have a LAN cable connected, you are going to have a superior experience to someone who is using a wireless connection. Also, if someone is using the internet to download some stuff like Netflix or other things from the Pirate Bay, who knows. But overall, I think this is a good experience and it's only going to improve and get better. So go ahead and try console streaming from your Xbox to your PC, it's actually kind of good. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below.
for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.